Hello, are you there? <laughs> this is Mark. I have a new lesson for you. My uncle, to tell the truth, helped me understand Italian. However, I tried so hard, I wasn't able to catch on quickly. Since I wasn't a good student, he decided to give up. Initially, he was so excited to teach me, but then he renounced. In this lesson, we're going to look at transition words, so stay tuned. Right, we're going to talk about transition words, but what are transition words? They are words or phrases that connect a part of a sentence to another part of a sentence. They can be divided into four groups. Additive, adversative, casual, and sequential. Here I listed uh, examples of additive and adversative. So let's take a look at the first examples. The additive can be divided into six subgroups. The first one is addition. And here I wrote my first introductory example. My uncle, to tell the truth, helped me understand Italian. So to tell the truth here is inserted in the sentence and uh, uh, we can even replace it with other ad addition transition words like indeed, further, as well as, moreover. They add information to the sentence. Now, the second one is introduction. Here, obviously, is uh, they give you the transition words would give you an introduction to a, a topic or to uh, a sentence. Let's look at my example. I like desserts, for example, ice cream. So, for example, here is the transition word and is an introduction that you give. So, you can even replace it with such as, like, especially, etc. The third subgroup of the additive group, reference. So, considering his comments, he probably didn't think about his role. Considering, we can replace it with as for, the fact that, with regard to, etc. These are all examples of reference. Now, the fourth subgroup, similarity. Likewise, she was anxious to leave the city. Likewise here is uh, like equally or in a like manner, etc. So these are all types of uh, similarity transition words. Now for the last two, I didn't give you an example because of space. So I'm going to just uh, give you some of them. Identification. So we use thus or namely for identification. Clarification, that is, I mean, okay, these are all transition phrases in this case that you can use in your sentence. Now, the second group that I have here is adversative, and adversative has five subgroups, conflict, emphasis, concession, dismissal, and replacement. So, an example of a conflict um, transition word could be However, in this case, however, is the transition word. I try so hard, I wasn't able to catch on quickly. So, however, can even, we can say while or whereas, and uh, a conflict um, transition word would be also but or yet. Now, the second uh, subgroup is emphasis. And here I have the sentence above all. Above all, he made me watch Italian movies without subtitles in English. So above all here could be besides or indeed. These are words that you can use to add emphasis to your sentence. Then the concession, I didn't give you an example, but I have some words that you can use. So some transition words, despite, regardless, albeit. Dismissal, I have an example here for dismissal. At any rate, 
it was none of her business. At any rate, here is uh, a transition phrase, and uh, we can even use either way, in any case, etc. And uh, the, the last subgroup is the replacement. And I didn't list an example, so we have uh, the transition um, phrase, or rather, or the transition word instead. There are many others. I don't have room for them, okay? So let's take a look at the third and the fourth group now. Are you ready for the second part? Great! I said that transition words are words or phrases that connect part of a sentence to another. So they can be additive, adversative, casual or sequential. In this part, we're going to look at casual and sequential. So the, the third group is the casual one and I subdivided it into five others. So we have casual effect, condition, effect and result, purpose and consequence. So the first is an example of a cause and effect. Since I wasn't a good student, he decided to give up. This is my uncle. <laughs> so since can be replaced with as, for, due to, seeing that, etc. These are all examples of transition words for cause and effect. Now, I don't have an example for condition, but you can use if, unless, etc. for the condition part of a transition word. And actually, why don't you write your own example under this video? Purpose. Purpose. Yes, I have an example for purpose. He wouldn't let himself near you in order to protect you. So, in order, here is a transition phrase and you can replace it with uh, uh, so as to, so that, for fear that, etc. And consequence, I have an example for consequence. And then he decided to leave. Then here is the transition word. You can replace it with if so, if not, otherwise, etc. These are all transition words or phrases for the casual part of the uh, transition word groups. Now, let's look at the fourth and last group, sequential. And here we have six subgroups, numerical, continuation, conclusion, digression, resumption, and summation. So, the first is an example of numerical. So, initially, he was so excited to teach me, but then he renounced. This is my example of my uncle. So, we can even say at first, first of all, secondly, etc. Continuation. I don't have an example of continuation. You have to forgive me. So, we go on with conclusion. Somehow, both of them eventually decided to move to Canada. Here, I wrote two transition words. Somehow, which is a resumption word, transition word, and you can replace it with anyhow, any way, to resume, at any rate, and eventually, eventually is a conclusion uh, transition word, so you can replace it with afterwards, previously, then, etc. Then we have a, a digression, I don't have an example for you for digression, so I expect you write your example under the video, obviously. And the last one, I do have an example, summation, in brief, we have concluded this lesson. And here I can replace in brief with all in all, overall, in summary, briefly, etc. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, we looked at transition words. What are they? They are words or phrases that connect a part of a sentence to another part. There are four groups, additive, adversative, casual, and sequential. 
These groups can actually be split into other groups. I suggest watching the lesson again if you haven't understood them. So that's it for today, you people. Thank you very much for all your comments and your suggestions and your examples. Don't forget to share my video. It's really, really important to me. I uh, wish you a great day and I see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.